aircraft carriers have played a major role for the United States Navy in maritime warfare history. Many people visualize aircraft carriers as floating cities. The aircraft carrier weighs more than 100,000 tons and serves as a seagoing airbase that's equipped with a full-length flight deck. Aircraft carriers can house up to 6,000 crew members and sailors aboard. There are approximately 100 fighter jets that are well worth about $30 million each and various other luxury facilities you'll find in a city. Typically, as the capital ship of a fleet, as it allows the naval force to project its air dominance all over the world. Along with aircraft carriers, fighter jets are one of the deadliest weapons used in warfare. They're fast, maneuverable, and carry a formidable firepower. These battle behemoths play a vital role in projecting power in the vast ocean waters and securing air superiority. They provide cover for aircraft carriers and other military ships and conduct precision strikes and attacks to neutralize maritime and terrestrial targets. In the current geopolitical climate, these jets serve as an obstacle against hostile actions and thus safeguard international waters. Aside from naval uses, fighter jets can also escort civilian airliners, ensuring their safety. They were introduced first in 1944, when the German Messerschmitt Me-262 was deployed into service in the World War II era. Fighter jets are designed to engage and eliminate any enemy aircraft. Many modern fighter jets are equipped to conduct ground attack missions, including striking ground enemy targets such as vehicles or personnel. However, have you ever wondered why the flight deck on some aircraft carriers are angled while the ship itself is straight? This is different from the Queen Elizabeth-class ships, which have a straight deck. The reason has more to do with how the planes are launched than with how they land on the carriers. Thousands of sailors live and work on an aircraft carrier for months at a time. They hear the roar of the engines and can feel the stress and adrenaline in the air. Aircraft carriers are important parts of the Navy today, and many people respect their huge size and power. We show you the world of angled flight decks and talk about why this style has become standard for American aircraft carriers. We'll also talk about how the flight deck came to be. During the Cold War in the 1940s, aircraft carriers had to deal with the problem. Carriers with angled flight decks were made to quickly launch and recover fighter planes in case they ran into enemy forces. Because the decks were at such an angle, Planes could be stopped on board while other planes took off or landed at the same time without running into each other. British naval engineers came up with a solution, a slanted flight deck that let planes take off and land at the same time. This great idea was first used on the HMS Triumph in 1948, and other armies quickly copied it. The slanted flight deck is better than a straight deck in many ways. Take a look at some of them. Let's talk about running things efficiently. By separating the landing area from the runway, the angled flying deck makes flying operations more efficient than ever. Planes can take off and land without blocking each other. Now this speeds up the flow of planes and lets aircraft carriers respond quickly to changing military situations. This level of speed can mean the difference between winning and losing in a world where time is incredibly important. The next item on the list is better safety. The slanted flight deck makes things a lot safer. In the event of a bolter in which an airplane misses the wires that hold it down, the angled flight deck gives people a way to get away. The plane can take off and try to land again without running the risk of crashing into parked planes. If the flight deck was straight, this kind of situation would be terrible for both the crew and the tools. Up next is flexible flight tactics. The angled flying deck gives flying operations more freedom than ever before. With separate areas for takeoff and landing, aircraft can change how they fly based on things like the weather or tactical events. This adaptability is important for operations and makes sure that aircraft carriers are always ready to go, no matter what problems they face. Also, making the best use of the deck room. On aircraft carriers where room is limited, angled flight decks make the best use of it. The deck area is better used when takeoff and landing are separated. This means that the carrier can carry more planes, which increases its strength. Planes can also turn faster. 
A curved flight deck makes it faster for planes to land, get supplies, and take off than on a straight flight deck. These faster rotations make it easier for aircraft carriers to send out their planes on tasks and make sure they're always ready to respond to changing conditions during wartime. This speed is incredibly important and could make or break a mission or even a flight. This also affects wear and tear and upkeep. An angled flight deck is also helpful because it means that both the planes and the aircraft carrier need less upkeep and wear. Landing planes don't have to slow down as quickly when they engage the arresting wire system, so there's less damage to the plane's structure and the deck. This leads to less wear and tear and lower maintenance costs, so aircraft carriers can keep working for longer without needing big repairs. This style of deck also promotes better teamwork and communication. The angled flight deck makes it easier for the team to talk to each other and plan flight operations. Air traffic controllers can focus on one job at a time when takeoff and landing planes are kept separate. This makes mistakes and misunderstandings less likely. This makes the ship's flight activities safer and more efficient as a whole. This also allows for more firepower and flexibility. Now, because the flight deck is at an angle, Aircraft carriers can use a wider range of planes and helicopters. Ships that carry planes can have a mix of fighter jets, reconnaissance planes, cargo planes, and helicopters because the deck layout is more efficient. Because of this, the ship is strong and adaptable and can carry out a whole wide range of tasks. There have been many changes and improvements made to the tilted flight deck over the years. The steam catapult was invented in the 1950s and made it possible for heavy jet fighters to take off from the angled flight deck more quickly. When the curved flight deck and strong catapults were put together, they made the aircraft carrier much more useful. As planes got bigger and heavier, aircraft carriers and their angled flight decks had to change too. To handle the pressure of heavier landings, the angled flight deck was made bigger and able to hold more people. Also, more up-to-date navigation and communication tools were put in place to improve safety and efficiency in air traffic control and flight operations. Adding the Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System, or EMOLS, to American Ford class aircraft carriers has been a big step forward in recent years. EMOLS is a big step forward in technology that replaces traditional steam catapults. It makes launching planes from an angled flight deck easier, faster, and more reliable. Unmanned aerial vehicles, or UAVs, are also tested on tilted platforms in the flight deck. The way armies do their jobs is completely changed by UAVs. In the future, they could even be an important part of aircraft carriers. People will need to learn new strategies, tools, and ways of doing things to get the most out of UAVs when they're used in angled flight decks. The curved flight decks will also need to change to keep up with changes in both air and sea power and the rise of technologies that are cleaner and last longer. People might come up with better products and ways to do things that are better for the environment, which would mean that aircraft carriers have less of an impact on the environment. Aside from what has already been said about the pros, cons, past and future of tilted flight decks, there are many more interesting facts and details. You may not have known these other things about flight decks that are tilted before, First, leave a blue heart in the comments to show your support for the people who work on aircraft carriers. Please also help us out by clicking like on the video and following our feed. Thank you. Now, let's quickly talk about some more fun facts that you won't want to miss. So let's talk about some more fun facts that you're not going to want to miss out about aircraft carriers. So the first thing is, where the tilted flight deck came from and where it first appeared. The British Royal Navy came up with the idea of a flight deck that faces forward. While this was going on, the HMS Triumph's slanted deck was used for tests. In the end, this meant that the British aircraft carrier HMS Centaur could get the very first bent flight deck. As the deck gained progress, it also gained acceptance all over the world. An angled flight deck was first used by the British Royal Navy and was quickly copied by other military units around the world. The US, Russia, France, China, and India are just a few of the countries that have built aircraft carriers with flight decks that are tilted. This shows that many people around the world think the style is good. These decks have also changed the way aircraft carriers are built and categorized. Not only has the curved flight deck made aircraft carriers safer and more useful, 
but it's also changed how they're built and put into groups. Because of its shape, some kinds of aircraft carriers have been built. I want to show you some well-known aircraft carriers with decks that are angled. The Nimitz class from the US. The Nimitz class aircraft carriers have decks that are set at an angle. This system lets them launch and recover a lot of planes at the same time, which makes the process more efficient and lets them do more of it. The US class of Gerald R. Ford. What's more, this newer group of American aircraft carriers was based on the Nimitz class's famous arch deck design. But the Gerald R. Ford class also has more advanced technologies, like advanced aircraft arresting systems and electric aircraft launch systems. The British Queen Elizabeth class. The British Queen Elizabeth class aircraft carriers also have decks that are set at an angle. Even though they're smaller than the American Nimitz and Gerald R. Ford classes, they can still hold a lot of people and do a lot of different things. Francis Charles de Gaulle. With its nuclear power, this French aircraft carrier can launch and reclaim a wide range of planes, such as Raphael M fighter jets and E2C Hawkeye's airborne warning and control systems. Captain Kudnetsov from Russia. An angled deck plan is also found on this ship, which is Russia's only aircraft carrier. The ship isn't up to date as some of the newer aircraft carriers, but it can still be used and can launch and collect different types of aircraft like the MiG-29 fighter jets and Ka-27 helicopters. China's Carrier The Liaoning, an aircraft carrier, also has a deck that is set at an angle. It was first built as a Soviet Kuznetsov-class aircraft carrier called the Varyak. China later bought it and changed it into the Liaoning. A variety of planes, such as J-15 fighter jets and Z-18 helicopters, can take off and land from the ship. Now. How important are the officer and team on the flight deck? The crew of an aircraft carrier is incredibly important for making sure that flight operations on curved decks are safe and run smoothly. Officers on the flight deck, also called landing signal officers or LSOs, are in charge of leading planes as they land. They keep the plane at the right speed and angle so that it can land safely, and they talk to the pilots all the time to find out about any problems that might come up. Another important aspect is training and exercises for working on an angled deck. Pilots and flight crew need a lot of training and practice to be able to do their jobs on curved decks, which can be tricky and even dangerous. More and more, modern simulation and virtual reality technologies are being used to teach pilots and crew members the specific skills and processes they need to safely and efficiently carry out flight operations on an angled deck. These immensive and accurate training methods help lower the risk of accidents and make everybody more ready for operations. There are also new technologies and methods for decks that sit at an angle. Over and above the EMOL system, many other cutting-edge technologies and systems have been created to make flying from sloped decks even easier. Modern radar and transmission systems help with air traffic control and make sure that takeoffs and landings are safe. Accurate weather forecasting tools are also built in to help crews plan and carry out flight activities in a range of weather conditions. Curved flight decks in aircraft carriers and movies and TV shows are always interesting. Flight decks with sharp angles and the aircraft carriers that house them are also well known in pop culture. Movies, TV shows, and video games with aircraft carrier assets or important parts of the story give people a look at what it's like to live and work on these floating airports and how hard and fun it can be. Examples that come to mind are the movie Top Gun and the TV show Jack. These gigantic carriers also have an effect on civilian flight. An angled flight deck is usually linked with military aircraft carriers, but some of the technologies and new ideas that were created on these ships have also been used in commercial aviation. For example, the advanced technology used for air traffic control on aircraft carriers has helped make air traffic control better at busy business airports worldwide. That's all there is to know about tilted flight decks and the benefits they bring to modern aircraft carriers. It's pretty amazing how this one design has totally changed how aircraft carriers work 
and how many navies around the world now use it. With everything from advanced takeoff and landing capabilities to emails and recovery operations, something simple like a sloped deck really changed the way that these aircraft carriers worked. No longer do navies in the world have to worry about traffic jams in the flight deck now that planes can pass each other easily. And with advanced radar systems and communications abilities, it's now easier than ever before to make sure that pilots land safely. And for the less experienced pilots or the pilots who are having a system malfunction or a bad day, the sloped deck helps prevent bolter situations where aircraft or even pilots could be lost to sea if they mess up their landing. So even though it seems like it's something insignificant, a gentle slope and a side design for the Navy and these ships, it's made one heck of a difference. And now it's your turn. Think about what the future holds for curved flight decks and the technologies used on aircraft carriers. What do you think they might do to be innovative in the future to change the style and methods in which these aircraft are launched and recovered? Make sure you sound off in the comments section down below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in our next video.